try to Woo! That was like a 10 foot jump. Oh, another sailfish. Another Woo! sailfish. Is he getting short? This is one of the most beautiful fish out here, in my opinion. What is going on, North Sizzle Nation? I hope you guys are doing great. Today we are deep sea fishing, and today I'm fishing with Team Control Chaos, and we are out here out of Palm Beach, Florida. And today I'm also fishing with some of my fans, Hannah and Sam, and we are currently have an array of different baits out. I'm about to drop a bait down to the bottom, and we are just trying to catch fish. Um, but so the conditions today are not the best for fishing like a west wind, so we're just doing the best we can and hopefully, real soon here, we get a fish. Fish on! Fish on! Put your hand up here, it'll be easier for you. There you go. Yep, stop right there, it's a nice mutton. Let's see if he's legal. He's legal. Uh, close. He's gonna be real close. Huh. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh. He's there. He's right here, Jane. Come he's there. Bucket. Oh, that is a good fish. That's a good like fish. Oh. oh, he's gone. Dolphin! Dolphin! All right, guys, we got a lot of action going on all of a sudden now. We got the lines going off. We got dolphin in the area. So we're going to try. Woo! That was like a 10 foot jump. That was insane. We got dolphin around. We got to start fishing. I can't tell if there's another one with them. Nice and easy. Nice and easy when you get flooded boat, all right, bud? No! All right, so unfortunately that mahi just popped off the hook for Sam there, but he did put on a great show and jumped all over the place, and so that's a good sign. There's a lot of people who have been catching dolphin all week long, very shallow, um, and this is considered shallow to us. So we're probably just gonna have to get another one, but that's, you know, that's fishing. You don't always catch them all. I've got something, probably like a little lizard fish or something. What'd you get? Baby mutt, oh, yellow tail. Keeper in the boat, check it out. It was a it was a yellowtail, a smaller yellowtail, but uh, these this is a keeper, so I'll take it. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful fish. If you want to run? We're gonna let him run. Get everything out of the way so we can chase him if we need to. that rod tip with that same bend. Okay guys, Sam is hooked up on a really nice billfish. We got a sailfish on and just took off and greyhounded across the surface right here. Super cool. Just hit a live goggle eye, which is what we use for bait. So hopefully this fish stays glued. He's coming up right here. He's coming up right here. Quit turning away from me. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Just go forward. Give it a little juice. Give it a little juice. Got him. All right, guys, so I am just reviving Sam's sailfish over here, but a gorgeous, another five, six foot sailfish for us. And if you guys have been watching our videos, you know my dad just caught his first sailfish ever. So there are a lot of sailfish in the area lately, and this is the time of year to catch them. This is considered sailfish alley, and a lot of people come down here just to sailfish all day long and catch and release a bunch of billfish. And once again, I'm fishing with Control Chaos, Captain James and Scott today. And Hannah and Sam came down from their honeymoon. Um, so congratulations to them. But they live in Alabama and they came down here to come on a deep sea fishing charter and come fishing with me. So, and we had a great time today and we're still catching a ton of fish and the day's not over yet. So uh, congratulations to them. And um, go ahead and leave your uh, congratulations down in the comments below guys. So here we go. Three, two, one. There he goes, swimming down to the deep. Successful billfish release. Let's get back to fishing. <laughs>
Oh, another sailfish. Another sailfish. Let's go. Is he getting short? No, he's just done. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. I think he actually. Pretty though. Yeah, I think he's, uh... Really cool. They just took the second sailfish right there. We just came back to the spot where we were when we first caught that sailfish. And he just greyhounded all over the place. And I just saw the line shoot back towards the boat. Whoa! That's a tasty fish right there. Yep. That's your dinner. <laughs> you guys take it, yes. All right, guys, check it out. Little mangrove snapper. Well, check it out. I just caught a nice mangrove snapper, which is delicious to eat. Circle hook in the corner of the mouth. I don't know, it could be something pretty good. We're pretty shallow, right? Not biting like a runner, so that's good. Weed trigger. This is one of the most beautiful fish out here, in my opinion. All right, check it out, guys. Queen trigger fish that I just caught on the bottom. And these guys are so beautiful. Look how beautiful they are. You're not allowed to eat them here currently. They're not edible, but you could eat them in the past. But trigger fish, and you guys know why I've showed you this in my videos before. You can't push this trigger down. Once it's up, you can't push it. The only way to get it down is to do, use this uh, back piece here, and the trigger goes down. Pretty cool, what, why they're called the trigger fish. See, you can't move this. But if you touch this, it goes right down. Pretty cool. Gonna release them. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that thing pulled a bunch of drag to start off with. Can't figure out their own Come on, baby. I'm gonna hand line this, get ready to pop. Up here. Oh, oh my big god, it's a mutton. mutton. Big, big mutton. mutton. Got it? Got it? Big mutton. Oh, nice mutton. Nice! Woo! That's a five pounder. Heck yeah! Four. Four. <laughs> it's not five. Don't get on crazy. They're going to be having some good fish to take home with them. That's an awesome mutton snapper. Nice. You guys know that I love catching my mutton snappers. So, successful day. First keeper for me in the boat. Check them out. Check them out. Woo! Hey guys, we're wrapping up our day and we're back at the dock and we got Scott over here filleting our, um, filleting the fish for them. He's in the background over here, but he's using my bubble blade, my bubble blade knives. But today was an epic day on the water. It was, I can't, I have to say like the conditions were perfect. It was awesome out, sunny, gorgeous. The water was blue and they just kept saying how awesome it was for them. And they live in Alabama, so that was like quite an experience, right? It's yeah, awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, so awesome. we got, What's that? A lot different than our fishing. Yeah, it's a lot different than their fishing. So I gotta get up to Alabama one day and do some fishing. Hopefully get some catfish or something good. But um, they have a bunch of good dinner fish to bring home, which is super exciting for them. And um, yeah, so guys, if you ever wanna fish with me, just like my fans did, and uh, Hannah and Sam, you can go ahead and contact Control Chaos. I'll link them down in the description below. But I fish all tournaments on their boat. They're awesome friends of mine, Captain James and Scott. So check them out and um, we can book a charter together and book it with James and then we'll just work out the dates and I'll be there. So we can have a great day just like we did today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate you. And as always, uh, follow your dream and keep on catching. I almost forgot. <laughs> Go ahead. Just throw it. There you go. We got it.